Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Pro Tips. My name is Dave Dahl. Today I'm going to show you the restringing technique on our nylon string or classical stringed instruments. So the first step is taking the existing strings off the guitar. Today for this demonstration I'll be using Martin silver plated plain end high tension classical strings. So I'm going to start by running the strings through the bridge. So now we're ready to wrap these around the bridge. So first we're going to start with the high string all the way on the treble side. We're going to wrap this string around the outside underneath, loop it over the top, and then through this loop two times. And I have enough tension to move over here to the next string, which would be the B string down. You see how that overlaps there? And I'm actually going to take my finger and hold that down and pull that tight until it's tight down to the bridge. So now I'm going to continue that technique onto the next string. Then you're going to go around the outside, underneath, over the top, loop it through twice, and pull that down over top of the G string like this. Put my finger there and pull that tight. Now I'm actually going to move these strings out of the way and I'm going to start over on the bass side. And the reason that I'm going to do that is because I want all the strings to tuck each other in so everything's clean on this bridge. So I'm going to start again with this low E string. We're going to go around the outside and underneath the string up here and then over the top and loop it through like that. And I'm only going to loop it through one time because these strings are thicker. I'm going to overlap with the A string like this, keep my finger here and kind of ratchet that down like that so it's tight. Now I'm going to continue that technique along with the A string around the outside and underneath over the top like this, hold it down to the D string, and ratchet that down. Now we're going to go on to the D string again, around, underneath, through the loop once, over to the G string like this, we're going to pull it down. Now I'm not going to pull that one, I'm not going to ratchet it all the way down tight to the bridge yet, and I'll show you why here in a second, because now I'm going to go back to this G string. And I'm going to go again back around to the treble side, underneath, loop it around like this. And I'm actually going to tuck this down underneath this D string wire, like that. And then pull this tight. And then while that's tight, I can pull this D string down. And now you can see when everything is, has tension on it, Everything's nice and tight underneath there. So now we're ready to apply the strings to the headstock. Now you notice the way that I have my barrels here, the post set up, I have everything kind of facing at about a 45 degree angle following the break angle of the, uh, of the headstock. And the reason that I do that, and you'll see when I put the string in, I can put my, one of my fingers underneath here and actually push the string up through the top so it's really easy for me to, to get a hold of that. So now I'm going to take my my finger and put it on the uh, first fret on the bass side and I'm going to wrap it around the inside and underneath and pull through the loop and hold it tight like that. Now with nylon strings I actually like to do them individually so I'm going to cut that off right away and with my handy string winder I can go ahead and string this up. Now when I wind this, I'm going to wind it towards the inside of the headstock. And the reason that I want to do that is to make sure that I have clearance on this spoon here with the string, so the string doesn't rub up against it. Just like that. Now moving on to the B string, same thing. We're going to put that through. Put my finger under there so it pops the string right up. Get a little bit of slack by putting my finger, my index finger at the first fret. 
Now this one I'm actually going to wrap around the outside and underneath and through the loop so that the string actually winds the other way. And again, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. I'll take my string winder. Now this one, instead of winding to the inside, I'm going to wind to the outside so it overlaps with that, the knot of the uh, string. Like that. So we're going to go ahead and do the same technique with the G string. Pull through, pop it up through the top, a little bit of slack there, and then go around the outside in the, through the loop. Pull it tight and cut it off and wind it up. So now moving on to the bass side. I'm actually going to start with the low E string. We're going to put this through, again, pop up through the top. Go around the inside, loop through, and put that through the loop, pull that tight, cut it off right away, and we're going to go ahead and wind that up again. We're going to wind this to the inside. And that's again to have string clearance off of that spoon. A string, same thing, we're going to go through, go around the outside, pull that through to make a knot, pull it tight, cut that off. And again, the A string we're going to wrap to the outside. And finally, Finishing this up with the D string, through the loop, so now that your new strings are on, you're ready to tune it up and play.